Did you know that color combinations can instantly elevate your look and bring those sophisticated and elegant vibes? You just have to know how to combine colors, and believe me, it's much easier than you think. Watch this video till the end and you'll have a very easy tutorial on how to combine colors like a pro. Hello beautiful people, my name is Elena and I'm a professional stylist with over 12 years of experience and I know everything about colors. Colors are in my DNA, okay? And I know how to explain color theory easily. So let's dive into the world of colorful styling today. Outfit one and uh, color combination number one and buckle up, I am going to surprise you because the color combination number one is lilac and yellow. Yes, we're starting with something really unexpected, but give me a second, I will explain you everything. And here's where I dive into the color theory with you. So this is a typical complementary color scheme, meaning these two colors sit opposite each other on the color wheel. Just Google color wheel, download the image to your phone, and your styling life will never be the same, okay? It will become so much easier. But here's the twist. Instead of going for this stark contrast of a pure true purple matched with pure true yellow, which can appear as a bit too bold and too harsh, I've opted for something softer. And we're talking a pale, delicate lilac and muted yellow. What this does is tone down the overall vibe, making the combo feel airy and elegant and not in your face at all. And I didn't stop there. I've also added a lot of white to the mix, another secret to achieving that classy, sophisticated look, especially when we're styling spring and summer outfits. So the takeaway for you guys here, pick two opposite colors on the color wheel, just Google and download that color wheel that will help you determine then. However, opt for a softer, muted variations of these colors to avoid the harsh and stark effect that can come from the contrasting nature of these colors. And you will end up creating something really sophisticated and elegant. And by the way, nature is the ultimate artist. If you're ever in doubt, just look to nature for inspiration. And honestly, for me, this is the easiest recipe. You just draw the inspiration from the nature. You look at the nature and you find something like sophisticated and rare flower or just any creation of nature and you just replicate the color combination. That's it. And now I'm absolutely happy and thrilled to introduce you the sponsor of today's video who has given me this an amazing opportunity to produce this video, supplied me with all the colors and all the fashion pieces to be able to inspire you. So Lily Silk has been a longtime friend to my channel and I am always grateful to partner with them. This brand is all about high quality pieces, high quality fabrics like silk and cashmere and take for example my favorite Lily Silk white pants. So these pants have been my go-to for almost a year now, so we have journeyed together to Barcelona, to Paris, so every time when I know that I have to pack my luggage, I am including at least one night out outfit and I am definitely including my favorite white silk pants. So from my own experience, I can attest that Lily Silk's pieces are truly a worthy addition to your wardrobe. And don't forget my discount code 20 Elena to get 20% off at Lily Silk. Now back to the topic. Color combination number two, and we're diving into the world of monochromatic color combinations, another fascinating aspect of the color theory, and I think that's a true gem for fashion enthusiasts. We're looking at pairing off pale pink with burgundy. Now, this might surprise you, but in the eyes of color theory, this combo is considered monochromatic. Why? Because both pink and burgundy are at their core variations of red. 
pale pink is a lightened version while burgundy is a deeper darkened shade of red when these two are paired together the result is undeniably sophisticated it's a look i am convinced you'll want to try out and just to mention i'm wearing the same white lily silk pants and yes all the links are waiting for you in the description box color combination number three and let's talk about neutrals i know how much everyone loves their neutrals all those beige and browns and navy blues that are staples in our wardrobe sure navy blue and brown can be a beautiful color combination there's a risk it might come across as a bit too dull and too flat so to really make these neutrals pop for the spring especially for the spring and summer seasons my advice is to sprinkle in some elegance with white off-white or cream or acro. It's like a breath of fresh air for your outfits. I have paired a silk top from Lily Silk with a knitted silk skirt along with my old beloved suede bag. And together these colors create a look that's both fresh and youthful. And for those cooler days, I'll throw on a striped cardigan that carries through the navy and white theme keeping the look cohesive and stylish. So the takeaway for you guys here, if you are into combining neutral colors together, especially when we're talking about navy blue and brown, please think about throwing in some fresh light colors like off-white, white, ecru, to bring some kind of a freshness and summer-ish and spring-ish mood to your styling. Outfit four, a complementary color scheme, but with a twist. And now I wanna share another useful and handy tool from the color theory. So this is an outfit that combines a delightful kind of pinkish orange with a rich teal. Now, this is a complementary color palette of orange and blue. However, I have played around with the colors a bit. So I gently nudged the orange closer to red and the blue has transformed into a gorgeous teal. This introduces us to what's known as tertiary colors. Here's a little more color theory for you, just a few seconds. Tertiary colors are complex. They are made by mixing a multitude of shades to the point where the color's name isn't immediately obvious. So this is the situation when you are looking at the color and you're like, huh, is this an orange or, or pink? What is that? These are tertiary colors. So in that moment when somebody is looking at you and they get this feeling of like, what? What is this color? In this moment, your outfit becomes not boring, but interesting and elegant. This is the moment. So if you want to create more elegant and sophisticated and deep outfits, go for tertiary colors. Just like before, I have linked all the fashion pieces I'm using here in this video. I have linked everything in the description box. And now, before we continue, I have a surprise for you, especially for those who are new to my channel. If you watch millions of fashion videos here on YouTube, but still don't see the result in your everyday habits, you go back to your wardrobe and you still have no clue where to start from. It means this is the time for a more professional approach. I have developed a simple yet highly effective style quiz. Take this quiz, it will take just a few moments, and this quiz will help you pinpoint what you might be doing wrong while shopping or while working with your everyday style habits. So take this quiz and you will receive an email with your personal wardrobe plan, absolutely free, that will guide you to create a capsule wardrobe that aligns with your current lifestyle, understand the styling basics and create stylish and bold outfits so you are just one click away from the beginning of your style journey and you know where to find the link, right? Outfit 5. And this outfit presents another trick of using tertiary colors, but in the format of an analogous color combination. So analogous color combination is when we combine two colors that sit close to each other on the color wheel. I'm wearing pants in a unique rare shade of rusty orange teamed up with soft muted yellow. When we take a look at the color wheel, these hues are neighbors 
sitting next to each other, but they are not your standard ordinary rainbow colors. They've got that little extra something, a twist that makes them look so elegant and so sophisticated. And to keep everything grounded and balanced, I've incorporated some neutral black and white pieces into the mix. It's all about striking that perfect harmony. So a takeaway for you guys here, these are analogous colors, but analogous colors with a twist. Like for example, it's not orange, it's a tertiary orange and yellow is not a simple yellow, it's a muted yellow. And this is something that makes this outfit and makes this color combination so unique and so sophisticated. Outfit six and a lesson on proportions. An absolutely key element when playing around with color combinations, especially if you want to introduce one bold, true color, is to remember proportions. It's crucial to remember that proportions can make or break the look. Silk blouse and pants are from Lily Silk. My old classic bag is from Celine. So if your aim is to put together an outfit that's both elegant and sophisticated, yet bold in color, the trick is to let a neutral shade take the lead, with brighter hue serving as accents. So the result, a look that's not only stylish and elegant, but also surprisingly comfortable and perfect for a night out. So just keep in mind, it's all about proportions. Use a larger amount of a neutral color and just a few accents of bold colors. Color combination seven, and this is my favorite part. So for those ready to take their style game to the next level, you can mix a complementary color scheme with just a hint of analogous color. Let me show you what I mean. Pale khaki and pink are essentially complementary colors since it's green and red at their core. Basically, we're looking at green and red, but modified with a bit of additional white and gray. By introducing an accent of orange, especially if it's tertiary shade of orange, we create something truly stunning. I believe this color palette takes the crown for sophistication today, and yet it's utterly fabulous. These are the colors I want to keep wearing on repeat. And that's it for today, guys. I hope I have inspired you to dive into your wardrobe, grab some pieces, create something new, and please don't be afraid of colors. Wear colors fearlessly, because I truly believe that colors are an amazing tool to elevate your mood, enrich your life, and yes, elevate your style as well. And understanding how to mix colors can effortlessly bring joy to your everyday styling routine. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. You know the drill. Follow for more, subscribe and check out my description box and see you in the next one. And you're still here. It means you want to watch another video from Elena. My recommendation would be a very popular video here on my YouTube channel. Five common fashion mistakes this spring. So chances are you might be falling into the trap of these five common style mistakes without even realizing it. Watch this video if you want to learn more and don't forget to subscribe and follow for more style tips.